Uh, for the second half, we do long form. Uh, we like so we like to invite a special guest to do monologues. So I want everybody to help me in welcoming our guest for tonight. Uh, she is also an improv comedian. Performs with another group called Smack. Uh, we're all going to be in Hong Kong. If you guys are in Hong Kong the first weekend of March, we're going to be there doing an improv festival. Uh, or if you're not, you can come uh, see her show happening on this stage the last weekend of March. Um, so yeah, check that out. Big round of applause for Mrs. Emily Morice. Why don't you give her a couple of words to inspire uh, her to make a story? Vampire. Vampires? I mean, like, real life stories. <laughs> so, so, I don't know if you're having a with vampires. No vampires. I can't have a... You? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, vampires. So, uh, vampires makes me think of Twilight. Uh, so, Twilight is, of course, the book series, kind of the teen series. And I was never really into that. Um, but another teen series, so I think they have like a campsite, so you camp out for the movies when the, everyone, all of my friends who had read the books, uh, they camp out in from the movie theater and they like dress in the, the vampire clothes and stuff. So um, I never did that um, because that was in high school. And I remember um, that I don't remember that, um, because I was, so in high school I was in a coma from a ski accident, so this is true story, so, so but anyways, so there's about um, three months of my life I don't remember, so, so when I kind of came to, they were talking about um, vampires, Twilight, they're talking about Harry Potter, um, all of these things, we were in a war, because uh, that was when we were in Iraq or something, so, um, so vampires reminds me of kind of high school. Um, vampires also remind me of, of teeth. So of teeth. So I, um, you know, because when you they have long teeth. So I, um, so I've had orthodontia. Done. Um, as you can tell. Uh, but the thing is, is I also had um, jaw surgery, so I couldn't eat for a while. Um, and I had this, I mean, it was quite terrible, so silver kind of um, thing that shut my mouth. So it kind of looked like the, um, what's that movie? Where the guy's like, the yeah. Um, but I lost weight because I couldn't eat. <laughs> oh my god, Bethany, <laughs> if I were you, I would seriously consider orthodontia. <laughs> Not like because your, your teeth are like straight and everything, but like you can stand to lose some weight. Okay, so if they just, you can get them like wire that shot, they would totally benefit your life. Oh my God, you're so caring. <laughs> Sharon, thank you so much. You're like, getting very the... touchy, Bethany, remember? I have a face thing, I know I'm, I'm, I remember, I remember, but it's... I don't like fat people too close to me. It's, it's, it's very rare that I ever can get too fat. They're too close to people. <laughs> but no one ever talks to me that honestly, you know? And I say, hey. I just tell like it is, okay? Well, I appreciate, I, you know, I'll say like, how do I look? And my mom, every morning, she'll say, you look fine. <laughs> and she totally wants to tell you I know, you I, I know she wants to say it to me, but then she doesn't. Yeah, I know my mom is always telling me that I look gorgeous and she, I should be a model, but I know what she really be down to say is that I should be a Hollywood movie star. You, you so, totally should. You totally could be. You totally could be. I know I'm just waiting until, like, you know, you got you got to wait until they like, mature a little bit because, like, the agents, ooh, they want you now, but you have to, like, wait until you reach, you know, I, I need some, like, 
maybe lift my cheekbones a little bit. Yeah, one's unasymmetrical. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can, you, right. can you see that clearly with like so much fat like in the way of your eyes? Like, like, the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I really like this truthfulness that's coming between us now. I, I feel like from my in my life going forward from now on, I'm only gonna be a hundred percent truthful. Uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, I am. That... You should be ashamed for losing your virginity when you were 13. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't believe that you did that with my cousin. Because we had, we had made a pact when we were seven. <coughs> mm, Bethany, you look pretty lovely this morning. <laughs> Say it to me like you mean it, Mom. Oh, my God. Uh, you look... I don't look lovely, do I? I'm ashamed of you. Oh, shh. Yes, that's what I want to hear. It's, it's just I wanted a boy. Okay? Keep it coming. I wanted a boy who who I could live. Okay? I always wanted to piggyback a boy. And you're not a boy nor can I piggyback you. Okay. All right. I get closer to no, 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 no. I'll hug you now, Mom. It feels warm. Because <laughs> I have a heat blanket on underneath. Normally fat doesn't really conduct heat very well. I, I feel bad saying this because of our moment, but I got you an orthodontia appointment. <laughs> you want me to lose weight, don't you? <laughs> Why did you just tell me that a long time ago? I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I want you to hurt my feelings. Tell me about my acne. <laughs> uh, one's about to explode. <laughs> well, I'm I'm looking in here, and I gotta say, uh, Bethany, that your your teeth are perfectly straight. I, uh, this is the third time you've come in this month, and I'm telling you, there's not really anything I can do. I, my job is to... What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Carlson, but I, I fix kids' teeth that, that have crooked teeth. Your, your daughter was born with some of the nicest... So you want me to hit your daughter in the mouth and make the teeth all for <laughs> <laughs> The better the payday. <laughs> Serious business, okay? I'm in. I'm in. All right. She happens to be uh, walking out of that bank in just a few minutes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Bethany, uh -huh. once again, I'm telling you. To oh my God! <laughs> tell it to. Tell it to me straight. <laughs> you don't beat around the bush. The entire front part of, part of your mouth is well. There's just. There's remnants of teeth. Uh-huh. Um, oh, God. It looks like somebody... Bethany, you, you're awake. Oh, oh, my goodness. It was... Oh, I'm so, so good to see you. I, I don't know if, if you know this, but you've been asleep for a little longer than we meant to put you under for your, your teeth uh, stuff. My orthodontia? <laughs> yeah, we... Uh, your orthodontia took a little bit... Longer than expected. Oh, may I come in, sir? Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, I'm sorry the way I've treated you when you were laying there for so long. You missed so much, and I feel so. There's a white Power Ranger now. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. I just got back from seeing Twilight 36. It's so good. Wait, hold on. My mom. Told me there's a white Power Ranger now. Yeah. Does that mean there are kid shows about the Klan? <laughs> oh, I forgot. You've been asleep for years and years. Yeah, our government just is... sitting sitting in the dentist office for years and years. <laughs> so we now and then... hey, uh, I just uh, walked into the the back room of the the dentist's office. Uh, Door and there's just someone asleep on a bed. <laughs> what? 
I tried to wake them up, but they didn't. We, we should probably call a hospital. Then. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean, oh no? Uh, I think it's better if you come up with uh, something that's ridiculous and tell her it happened. You know what the worst part is? Tell me. All the ridiculous shit my mom tells me happens. <laughs> really? Yeah. I did some research. It turns out there, it's not a clan Power Ranger. No? They just change clothes. <laughs> Can you believe that? That she would say that to me? Wow, your mom's a B I T C H. Totally. <laughs> you know what else? What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, Miss Carlson, but you're being. Bethany tells me everything. Yeah, well, um, I'm telling you right now, you're being a total knob to your daughter. She's in a coma. She's sleeping in a dentist chair. <laughs> yeah, well, you should be, like, nicer to her. Natch. <laughs> you know what's the natchiest thing of all she does? <laughs> I can't even guess. She just keeps getting worse and worse every time you tell me. She she Barf. she keeps talking about how great I look since I dropped that 85 pounds. <laughs> what a bitch! Hop on. Hop on. <laughs> Clearly, Gandalf the Grey, and I'm Gandalf the White. So he's. This is clearly the third Hobbit movie where he's only ever gray. Yeah, well, some of us. Hi <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, uh, Gandalfs. Hey there, I'm uh, Bilbo. Uh, obviously, you know you get discounted tickets. <laughs> and they let, they let people under 1.3 meters in first, so see you in there, guys! Man, those are some awesome prosthetic feet he's got all hairy. I, I'm really impressed. I mean, he did a really great job of dressing up in an authentic way, just like I did. Unlike other people in this line. Look, some of us had to reuse our costumes from the Lord of the Rings movies, alright? Why do you have elf ears and, and long blonde hair? Because uh, for the first Lord of the Rings movie, I dressed up as Legal Loss. For the second one, I dressed up as Gandorf. And for the third one, I, I just I wanted to dress in a blonde wig because it made me feel. <laughs> Are you even really into this this midnight screening of the third Hobbit movie? Yeah, man. I like I like movies and. Uh... How committed to watching Smog are you? Which one's Smog? Oh, is that the the little guy with the beard? That's the dragon! <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Welcome to Hobbit 3. We are now going to be taking tickets from dwarves and elves. Dwarves and elves, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know, think, uh, on account I got these elf ears, I could, I could Don't you them. fucking try! <laughs> but they said elves, and like you, you admitted that I had some elven features. Yeah, who are you gonna be though? You're gonna be like, oh, we're, we're admitting towards an elf, and you go up there and you're like, which elf am I? I got it. Gandorf and Legal Loss had uh, an illicit affair and had a love child, and that's me. His name is. Sorry, what? What was his name? 
<laughs> Gandalos. <laughs> Listen, I got some good news and bad news. Good news is, the movie's about to start. Bad news is, no seats left. What? Yeah, so we'll see you for the next showing. What, uh, what do you mean, the next showing? 8.15 tomorrow morning. Uh, no! I, I just shall not pass! pass. <laughs> this shall not pass to me. I, I promise. I promise you, I, I'm getting in that movie theater no matter what. I don't care if I have to strike someone down! Uh, I, I got some old, I got, I got, I got a Willow DVD in my house. <laughs> <laughs>